Hello, everybody. I am here to wash some laundry today. I'm going to wash some color clothes. Let's wash some all my black, all my black clothes, which is a lot because I pretty much wear, I know y'all keep telling me to change their battery, y'all. I don't even know if I have a battery. I might have to go buy another one, but we're going to wash all of my black clothes I usually wear black pants black leggings Dark clothes. Let me turn the water on. We're gonna look, use hot, hot, hot water. Scalding hot. Anything that's dark, not to worry about fading. Hey there, Magdalena. How you doing?
I'm going to just lift it. I let it soak for a while. These are all my black leggings and pants, which I have a lot of them every time I see some black leggings. I buy some. I can't really pump that like I want to because it's hot. So I'm just going to let this soak. I'm going to let this soak for a while. I'm hungry, y'all. I'm hungry. Let me take y'all out of here. Good morning. So, hey, Terrence, I got y'all turned. The other way where I can't be, y'all. Let me see. Let me go get a salad so I can eat a salad or something right quick. Well, I thought it was that. Well, hold on, y'all. I just took my fire alarm down because I thought I thought it was the other one making noise. I think it's this one. This, I'm hungry. That's my problem. I don't be stopping to eat. I don't be stopping to eat. Thumbs up the video, y'all. Terrence. Who else is that? I can't really see the name.
Terrence, you at work? Oh, you all sick? I hear some more eating sounds. Are you feeling any better, Terrence? Pancakes with sausage. Do you or Uber eat? Like what restaurant in the area do you eat? Pancakes and sausage. Mm. So what you gonna do? Fix breakfast yourself or call somebody over to fix you breakfast in bed? You might need to go to your mom's house so she could take care of you. That salad dressing is kind of vinaigrette. Um, this is a Caesar Caesar Greek salad. Classic Caesar Greek salad. Y'all, how come that alarm? How come this thing stopped beeping once I took it off the thing? I thought it would still be beeping. Hi, Miss Kitty. You thought I was going to fix it tasty. Mm. If I fix it, you can't eat it. I'm not a big fan of pancakes. Y'all, that place my friend took me to that morning when I went to go get breakfast at her son with her son. Wow, that breakfast was good. I didn't get my hash browns. After seeing how people make. They're surprised, Chili. I'm scared. You better be. Lord. Mm -mm. But y'all see me cook. Y'all 
Y'all see me cook everything. So y'all see how I cook. I needed to stop and eat. I think I'm going to fry some chicken today, challenge. And I need to uh, cook my Brussels sprouts. Anybody know a dish that you use Brussels sprouts? For Terrence say I'm going to my mama's house and torture her. She hates sick people. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to fry some chicken today. Even though I've been eating chicken. I got some legs and some wings. I roast them in the oven with olive oil. I know, but like, I'm talking about a dish. A dish that you use Brussels sprouts for. Like with other stuff. Y'all, yeah, I'm going to eat two salads, but they're two different kind of salads, so I didn't want to mix them together. That's a specific, a Pacific salad with chicken. I don't like to mix them together when they're two different kinds of salads. What else? Some almonds, and I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Y'all, Trader Joe's got some of the best salads. Tell me, she gonna go make you. Mama, you're going to go work your mama nerves. She might hurry up and make you get better. Oh, this is so good. That dressing is sweet and sour. Oh, Lord, that dressing tastes good. I think the dressings on Trader Joe's salads make the salads. They dressings are like gourmet. They dressings are like gourmet dressings. I'm washing some more clothes today. I washed all my towels and my underwear yesterday. So and I had something else I needed to do today, but the guy that was going to help me with it, today is his, you like steam too whip, garlic. Cheese. Never had it with other veggies. 
Yeah, I'm kind of looking for some kind of dish. Terrence say I like Brussels sprouts sautéed with bacon. Mm, I never had it like that either. Onions. Mm. I never had it like that. Y'all, I was so sleepy last night. <laughs> I was thinking about calling somebody after the live was over. I was like, mm-mm. Nope. I can't do it. I was so tired. I didn't want to get up and do the video. I was so tired. Y'all, this salad is good. Hey, Miss Gloria. Salad. Tamara wanted me to cook him some pancakes. Sausage and eggs, but I'm not a good, I'm not a big pancake fan. I eat them every now and then. Why I'm so close? Because I want y'all to see my mouth. <laughs> Because this is supposed to be an ASMR video, Miss Gloria. Y'all, I think the reason why I don't like pancakes is because I'm the oldest of six children. And... I did all the cooking at a very young age. Like, I think I started cooking, I'm talking about real, full-blown meals when I was like 8 or 10 years old. I did all the cooking. And whenever... They wanted pancakes. We would make pancakes big around like the size of the skillet. And that means you could only make one pancake at a time. And my sisters and brothers eat like three or four pancakes at one time so that means I had to stand up at the stove and make one pancake at a time for everybody in the house including my mama her husband if she had company over I had to make pancakes for 10 or 15 people And I think that's why I don't like pancakes. <laughs> and then all of them. And then, let me tell y'all something. We didn't have no Bisquick. Mm -mm. We, didn't, we didn't have Bisquick. We didn't have pancake mix. I made my pancakes from scratch. A little bit of girl making pancakes from scratch, y'all. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't like pancakes. <laughs> I have to stand up at that store.
And then, tournaments, and then, you know, back in the day, we didn't have no paper plates. I had to wash the dishes after I got through cooking. That's why I say, Terrence, I, I was... I was my sister's and brother's mama. I did all the cooking, all the cleaning. I didn't have a childhood. So, I just had to, and my mom didn't cook. I did all the cooking. She didn't cook. Matter of fact, my sisters and brothers, them, and even her husband, was so used to my cooking. They didn't want my mama to cook. One of my uh sisters, my sister that passed away, if my mama cooked, my sister would not eat. She would tell my mama, Mama, you know I don't eat your cooking. <laughs> this is a true story. My sister did not eat my mama cooking. She would say, Mama, you know I don't eat your cooking. So if you want me to eat, you better let Vanessa cook. And they were so used to my cooking because I was the only one cooking. They didn't even like when she cooked. That was a good thing for them. But it was a bad thing for me because the more and more my sisters and brothers got attached to me, that mean the more responsibilities I had. Terrence, if you're hungry, if you're hungry, you're going to learn to cook. I'm going to change the subject, y'all, because I'm about to start crying. Let's change the subject. Miss Gloria, did you go get your car looked at?
What you say, Terrence? You want a cup of coffee? Would that make you feel better? Why everybody else stop talking? Miss Kitty, y'all, there was some good salads. Mm. Wow. That was really good. I'm trying to see. I took this battery down. How you get the battery? I'm trying to. Hold on, y'all. I got a pair. Mm. Mm. I'm trying to get this thing out of here. That sound juice. It is. They are big and juicy. What the weather look like down there, Terrence?
just laying down resting one of those days you off today miss kitty ain't today monday you didn't have to work today oh you don't go to work till later Sunny, bright, and cold. Yes, I'll be off. You off? Why? You didn't take a sick day, did you? We can play all day. What y'all gonna play? <laughs> Where y'all gonna play it? <laughs> Where y'all gonna play it? You wish you could make what better? Did I tell y'all? Miss Gloria say no, y'all can't play. Y'all supposed to be sick. <laughs> Ooh, hold on, y'all. I wanna. Hey, Cedric. Hey, boo boo. Let me put this um hold on y'all. Let me put this camera on this tripod. So we could go in the other room. We play get ready, Gloria. Get ready for what? Get ready for what? What is you talking about? Get ready for what? Get ready with who and get ready for what? I ain't getting ready for that. Okay, y'all, let me see if I want to fry this chicken now. Let me see. everything. I got to smell everything. Smell good for me. Terrence, do you want me to show you step by step how to cook the chicken today? Do I have to show you everything, Terrence, step by step? Do I have to show you how to rinse the chicken off and season it too? So first thing you want to do, Terrence. Oh, Lord, y'all so retarded. You got to get you a container and put your chicken in. Y'all cook it. Got to take the chicken and put it in the container.
Hold on. Let me go through. Put this in my page. And see what I usually do when I wash clothes. While I'm letting dirty clothes soak, I'll be doing something else. So I'm going to take the chicken and rinse it off. We're going to rinse the chicken off. Let me bring y'all over here where y'all can see the chicken. I wish y'all could see. Can y'all see the chicken? I'm just gonna rinse the bad booger off. Since y'all wanna show me, y'all want me to show y'all step by step. Since y'all don't even know how to do knitting. This chicken is from Trader Joe's. And you don't have to keep the water running. You could just rinse it off. Drain the water off, okay? Make sure you drain the water off if you want to rinse it more than once. You can miss it, you can miss it more than one. should make this a video for my other channel. We're going to take some of this slap your mama sauce and put on here, but not that much because this stuff is very potent. This stuff is very concentrated. The slap your mama sauce is too strong, y'all. That should be enough. We're going to take some onion powder. Some garlic powder. Some black pepper. We're gonna take the beloved hot sauce. We need to I need to make some more. We're gonna take the beloved hot sauce. Might as well use it all.
and we're going to take however many eggs you want. Two, three. I'm gonna use three today, y'all. Uh, three eggs. And I'm just gonna use my hand. Oops. just mix that all around and in the meantime I'm gonna let this sit for a while because I want it to marinate my chicken is still like very cold so you could if you wanted to mix this up, you could put you some foil paper or saran wrap on the top and let it sit in the refrigerator for a couple of hours so them seasonings can get all the way in there. Okay, so let me rinse my hand off. take a plate I guess this plate gonna be big enough I don't have any round plates in the house because I got rid of them so we're gonna take a plate and put it over there I'm gonna go throw this away matter of fact I, let me bring my I had a box of trash that's getting ready to go dump I'll just bring it over here Yeah, when I fried that other chicken, somebody told me you didn't fry that chicken. You know you went. You know you went somewhere and bought that chicken. Hey Brittany. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is take your cooking oil. You see how the cooking oil look, y'all? I'm gonna take this and pour the cooking oil out into something else until it get to the crumbs until it get to the crumbs I'm gonna pour this out you can use your cooking oil over but every time you use it you want to always separate. You want to always separate that. Can y'all see that? You want to always separate that and throw that away. That's the flour mixture that got in the bottom. I just pick it up with my hand. Sometimes I have jars that I just fill it up with this and pour it in a jar. Like you could save your old water bottles and put this in your old water bottles with the strainer. And I just throw this away. 
You don't need to flush that down the sink or the toilet. Just throw it away. Put it in a water bottle. Throw it away. So, I'm going to wash my pot. You can use your cooking oil over and over again as long as you them particles out. Even when you work at a restaurant, y'all, they don't change that all that often on the chicken. They don't change that all that often. You'd be surprised how often they change their cooking oil. I'm just going to wash the pot out. Hot water, soap, gets rid of the cooking oil. And when you fry your chicken, y'all, you want enough room in the chicken, I mean in the pot. You want to have enough cooking oil in the pot where to cover the chicken all the way. So it's cooking on both sides, going through, not one side at a time. Where your chicken is floating, you don't even really need to turn it over because it's cooking on both sides. Got it. Okay, dry it out. Let's go over to the stove. So we're going to take our... Is this step by step enough for you, Terrence? Terrence talking about step by step. Why y'all not talking to me? So you're gonna take your cooking oil and put it back in the pot. And if you need some more in there, 
Like if you have some more saved over for something else, which I usually do. I don't think I have any right now. You could put some more in there. Or you could add some new cooking oil to it. It's up to you if you want to mix them like that or you want to start with new. I'm going to take this and put this on five. If you have a stove with a number on it, I'm going to put it on five and I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to cook my chicken on five. But I'm going to leave it there and let it get hot on five. Let me show y'all the cooking oil. I'm going to add some more cooking oil to that, y'all. bit of cooking oil left in here I'm gonna and I usually save my containers you guys so that way when I get ready to throw my cooking oil away I'll have something to pour it back into and I could just throw it away like that so that's usually how I dispose of my cooking oil vegetable oil. I use both. So I'm going to pour some more cooking oil up in there. And I'm going to let that get hot. Okay. So, while we're doing that, why we letting this cooking all get hot? Because you want to leave it there and let it get hot, hot, hot. Why are we doing that? Terrence say yes, yes what? Terrence, I need you to start talking in complete sentences, honey. How many times I got to tell you that? How many times I got to tell you to talk in complete sentences? <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to go to the bathroom, and we're going to be washing the clothes. This is what you call multitasking. So I usually let that water cool off a little bit because the water be too hot. The water be too hot. And I used to have a stool in here. Y'all, I think they stole my stool. It was in the van. I usually have a stool in here.
Like when my hands get tired, I'll Y'all, these are all color clothes, all black clothes. So the water get really dark because of the black clothes. These are all my black leggings and black pants. When I have to wash clothes, y'all, I wash the clothes like before I take my bath. <laughs> Terrence said yes, don't be for sure. Oh, yes, Terrence, you have to start out with a clean box. So, alright. Now, while we're doing this, we letting our cooking oil get hot. And because you have it cooking all on low, it don't matter how long you leave it there. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna pour this water out. And then I need the color close all black. All black clothes. I just leave it there until all the water runs out. Let's just leave it there to all the water right now. Let's go check on this cooking oil. I don't want to transfer y'all back to the other tripod because I keep transferring back and forth. So. Let me wash my hands again. There go our chicken. I got my flour. This bag have a hole in it. gonna put our flour in here. There are your flour tents. And all the seasonings that we put all the dry seasonings that we put in the chicken, we're gonna put in the flour. We're gonna put some you're seasoning your flour. We're gonna put some onion powder. Some garlic powder. So I'm gonna slap your mama seasoning, not too much because it's very concentrated. Whatever other seasonings you want to put on your chicken, put that. I'm going to put some more black pepper. And 
You're gonna mix that in your flour real good. Depending on how much flour you have in here, you might wanna add more seasonings. You see that, Terrence? Are you paying attention? You're not doing what? Okay. So what you're going to do next, I'm going to put this flower up. And y'all, I keep my flour in the refrigerator. I keep my flour in the refrigerator. Miss Gloria say she not doing. You not doing what? Thank you, Miss Kitty. So before you put the chicken in the flour. You want to make sure you get the egg batter all over the flour. Terrence is making me do this. I don't understand. Some things is self-explanatory. So you're going to put that. I got legs and wings today. I think I could fit six pieces. So I'm gonna let me move this back so you can see. I'm gonna turn this over in the flour. I got an empty plate right here. And I'm just gonna roll this all over the flour, beat it. Get the excess flour off. Make sure everything is covered. Your hands gonna get dirty, y'all. If you don't want your hands to get dirty, wear gloves. But I feel like a good cook get their hands dirty. And you just roll this in the flour. Dap it off. Dab it off. And while you're cooking all this cooking, you just let that sit. And I usually sometimes double batter my chicken, but the last time I didn't double batter it. But I like the way it came out. So I'm going to do it the same way. I need to put my pears in the refrigerator, y'all, because so we're gonna double batter. We're not gonna double batter, but I think I could fit six pieces of chicken in my pot at one time. So I'm going to do one more leg and one more wing to make it even. Three and three. And 
I'm going to just let this sit here. Before I get ready to fry this, I'm going to put it back in the batter again. So... I need to rinse my hand off. Let me go wash my hand in the bathroom since I got that thing over my sink. Let's check on our cooking oil. It's getting hot. You could touch the pot. The pot is pretty hot. I'm just going to let that cook a little longer. Let it get hot. Let me see what y'all saying. This is some steel. Steal your mama chicken. What you mean, <laughs> steal your mama chick? If you double batter it, do you use another egg? No, I'm not going to double batter it. The last, I've been double battering it, but the last time I fried it with the 20 pieces, I didn't double batter it. But, like, I let it sit here while I'm letting my cooking oil get hot. I just let it sit here floured. Right before I get ready to cook it, I'm just going to put it in the flour again. But that's not double battered. But I like the way it came out this way better. So I'm going to do it like this again. Uh, I just let it sit here and let that flour get all up in there. And just sit there before I cook. Before I cook it. And then right before I cook it, I'm going to put it in the flour again like this just take it back and roll it through the flour again knock everything excess off and you want to make sure your flour your uh, cooking oil is hot enough you don't want to make the mistake putting your chicken in cooking oil that is not hot because if you do that you just messed up but you don't want to have your cooking oil hot make your cooking oil hot on a hot fire you want to let it get hot on the fire that you're going to cook it on just let it take its time and get hot It's better to not overheat your cooking oil because if you do, as soon as you put it in that cooking oil, it's going to burn your chicken. And you're going to think your chicken cooked. It's going to brown your chicken too fast on the outside. And you're going to think your chicken is cooked, but it's going to turn out like Terrence chicken. <laughs> Y'all, I got a true story. I used to be the cook in the family, but one day, my sister under me, I guess anything I was good at or whatever, she was jealous. So she wanted to cook because I was always the cook. She wanted to cook. So I was about to fry some chicken one day. And she said, no, I'm going to fry the chicken. I'm going to fry the chicken. That girl went in that kitchen and cooked that chicken. And then she was like, see, I cook chicken better than Vanessa. I cook chicken faster than her. Girl, my brother bit into the chicken and blood. <laughs> blood started draining all down his mouth. 
And she talking about, you better eat it, you better eat it. And he was like, I'm not eating this. <laughs> and y'all know, I had to step in because I'm the oldest. I had to step in and say, that boy ain't eating that bloody chicken. You, you crazy. So this is chicken look y'all after I put it back. So what you want to do, you're going to take one piece of chicken and you're going to see if you're cooking all. See, if you put it in there and it bubble, that means it's hot enough. And you don't want them bubbles to come on the outside of the pot. So you let that settle down and simmer before you add. More chicken in there. Now, hold on. Let me turn y'all around so I can see. What y'all see? Let me go get my other tripod. I didn't want to change this thing, but I need to get the other tripod so I can sit y'all down because I can't hold this. I'm going to leave y'all here. Stay there for one minute. Okay, now I'm going to take, I got uh, three wings in there. Wings cook faster than legs, y'all. So you're going to have to keep an eye on this. I don't want them bubbles to come out the pot, so I'm going to add one piece of chicken in the pot. And I got my thong. You don't want to add too much chicken because you don't want that to bubble over. I'm going to add one more piece of chicken. Let's see. That's five pieces of chicken in there. Steal your mama taste to steal your steal your man chicken. Steal your man chicken? What means steal your man chicken? Miss uh Kitty say how do you double batter? Miss Kitty, if you want to double batter, you're gonna do it the same way I just did it just now. But have you some eggs in a separate container after you put that 
flour in the uh your chicken in the flour then you take it and put it in the egg again and then put it back in the flour but i like this way better just re-flouring that chicken i like this way better than the double batter y'all thumbs up the video if y'all haven't already this the wings is not going to take as long to cook and see we still kept our fire on fire so that fire is not that hot high but you let your grease get high see that wing you want it to get browner you let your chicken get high brown you like it yeah but you want it crunchy it's still gonna be crunchy this uh kitty this is crunchy it was crunchy the last time yeah flour it two times you let it sit i let it sit while i was doing something else with the flour on it then before i get ready to put it in the grease i just run it through the flour again but that's not called double batter but you are putting it in your flour twice so and while i'm letting this cook see i could put my other piece of chicken let me see you want to make sure you have enough you don't want to overcrowd your pot you want to make sure you have enough for another piece of chicken before you put it in there i don't want my pot to overflow so i'm just going i'm not going to add the other piece of chicken so i got five pieces of chicken in there So while that is doing that, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and run my water into my clothes to rinse them off. So I can multitask and do several things at one time. And I'm running the hot, hot, hot water on the clothes, as hot as it could get. And then I'll let this soak and sit for about 20, 30 minutes in the hot water. And then come back and stump it. And this is my rinse. But this is kind of pre-wash, pre-rinse. Because I'm going to rinse them in hot water, let them sit. Then come drain that water off and rinse them again and then wring them out and hang them up. But since I want to, I want to take a bath before I hang my clothes up. So cause I could put my rack in the bathtub like if it's raining outside or it's cold outside. I could still wash clothes in the winter time and uh, put my rack in the bathtub. So I'm going to just let these clothes get water to it, cover it over the top. I got my little handy dandy thing. That way my hands won't get, because this water is hot, y'all. So I use this so my hands won't be too hot in the water.
Okay, so that's enough water, y'all. So, I'm going to let that soak. We're going to let that soak. And now we're going to go back to the chicken. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go check on the chicken, y'all. Ooh, that chicken smelling good. Mm, it smells so good, y'all. And you just keep checking on it. And leave it in there to get as brown as you want it to get. See? The wings don't take that long to cook. I'm going to sit this down. And let me get my... So y'all, I got my Tupperware thing, and there's a mix about fried chicken, not to put it on, um, not to put it on uh, paper towels when you first take it out to let it drain on something with holes. I don't have one of them little clear racks, so I'm going to use this, because you want the cooking on not to soak into the chicken and the paper towel, you want it to drain off. Of the chicken so that's a myth that if you want your chicken to be crunchier don't put it on paper towels y'all I don't even have my phone charging up so we're going to take and you, you really need a phone if you do not have a phone I'll show you what else you can use it's just as good you want to get all like cooking oil off of there that you can let me show y'all what else you could use. You could use this to take your chicken out. And you can get more out at one time. Oh, Terrence, we already know you love thongs. And you could just shake this like this and let the cooking oil get off of there. And we're gonna let some other pieces of chicken cook. I'm gonna put that last piece of chicken in here. And now we're gonna go back over here and finish flouring the rest of our chicken. So you're going to take your chicken, you want to mix it up in here again. Make sure you got the egg batter all over it. So that way when you put it in the flour, you're going to get the flour up on it. And I get my hands dirty, y'all. I'm going to go wash my hands. shake it
Don't worry about making a mess, y'all. You're going to clean it up. We're just going to let that sit there. Look at my hands. Let's go check the chicken. These are the other pieces of chicken. That's how they look. You can let them... I'm going to let them cook a little longer. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. And I'm gonna cook my Brussels sprouts, y'all. I probably I know that's probably not a good combination, but Y'all, I'm going to have to set y'all on this thing for the rest of the video because I didn't have my phone on charger the whole time. So I don't want the... No, that was a pack of, uh, I think, six wings and one pack and six wings and six drums in another pack. We almost through with this. I'm going to set this to the side, y'all. I want to, this is my trash, y'all. I want to uh, chop my Brussels sprouts.
I'm going to rinse them off. And usually, y'all, like instead of doing the clothes, I would have been doing this. So that way when my chicken finish, everything would be cooked at the same time. I like to stay in the kitchen until I finish cooking. So that way everything will be cooked at the same time. I'm going to saute these, you guys, with some red onion and my electric skillet. Where is Elizabeth? I don't think she wakes up till about 5 p.m. Once I get my chicken out the way, I can rinse this off. These are pretty. I got two packs. I'm only going to cook one right now. And I think I'm going to cook some rice. I might serve these. Over some rice.
Hey y'all. So I took the last piece of chicken out the cooking oil. This is how the chicken looked before you put it back in this flour. Put it back in the flour again. It's like a double batter without the egg, I guess. I'm gonna wait a minute. So I know this is a. I know that's a lot of flour left for y'all, but I just threw it away. get a bag and throw it away. I don't know if some people say they flour and use it again. I don't. But if you had something else to fry today, you could say you're better if you're not finished with it.
added my last piece of chicken to that batter. I'm going to cut a See if I got some rice, y'all, because I need to put some rice on. I got some brown rice, which takes longer to cook. Brown rice takes longer to cook, so. And it needs more water. strong and let you feel it I thought I had my card up in here where did I put my let me see y'all, uh, where's the card to the electric field? I thought it was over here. You know, put some olive oil in the skillet.
Hey Blah Blah, Hey Marie, If I was B-Love's life, I'd put two sticks of butter in there. <laughs> I'd put two sticks of butter in there if I was B-Love's life. I'm just going to season with salt and pepper. I know that pepper gonna make me sneeze, y'all. <coughs> and a cup of sugar. She was eating something today. And time by <coughs> talking about it didn't taste good because it didn't have no sugar in it. Potato salad. She was talking about that potato salad didn't taste good because it didn't have no sugar in it. I was like, what? Lord have mercy. Sweet potato salad, that's nasty. That's 
that's all I got to say. That's nasty. To me. Excuse me. Y'all, that black pepper make me sneeze. So I'm going to just put my lid on. I turn the fire down a little bit. I'm going to cook that slowly. Ooh, that pepper. Let me show y'all the chicken. Did y'all see the chicken I already took out of there? That's how the chicken look, y'all. Y'all see that? Excuse me. How did it look to y'all? Did it look all right? So we got the rest of the chicken. This is the last of the chicken. My wings might be done. The wings don't take that long, y'all. I don't mind my chicken being brown, really brown. That's how the legs look. I'm gonna leave them in there just a little bit longer. I'm gonna leave them in there just a little bit longer. Let me see. I guess I can let y'all watch the chicken.
I'm going to turn my fire off, you guys. So the last thing I got cooking is my rice right here in my rice pot. That's going to take a while. The chicken is finished. Y'all see that? Do it look pretty enough for y'all? Any comments? So we got our We got these cooking. You can put a little broth of water in here. I don't think I have any chicken broth in my refrigerator. Let me see. Yeah, I think I do. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to put a little chicken block up in I'm going to put this top on here, y'all. I'm going to take this in the other room. Because I want to get to my sink. So I could be washing my dishes. And by the time this is, everything is finished cooking, my kitchen will be clean. I'm going to clean my kitchen now. So, clean my kitchen, throw away the trash. The rice still cooking. I like to wash dishes while I'm cooking.
I'm gonna taste that. I'm gonna take that Brussels sprout. Long cook. Put that right there, so I can go to the other room. I should have put that rice on before I, when I first started cooking. Because brown rice takes longer to cook, y'all. need to wash I wash my dish towels y'all I boil them sterilize them wash them Once the cooking oil is cooled off, I just put the top on it and I leave it in that pot, y'all. I leave it in that pot. I'm gonna pull up the egg batter and toys. I just pulled the egg batter down the toilet so I could clean up.
Okay, y'all, I'm gonna need to go. Put my trash away. I'm gonna crush me some ice. Ice. I'm not going to eat now, y'all. I'm going to eat later. I know, Miss Gloria. What time is it now? I have already washed it down. I'm just gonna rinse it out. I'm probably gonna uh, wash my dish towels later. Ball, but I think I'm gonna soak them right now.
142. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't know why I thought it was after two. I put vinegar in my dish towels, y'all. That's a disinfectant. And I also, I'm gonna boil those too, but I'm gonna let them soak for a while first and then I'll boil them later. And let it scalding hot, I disinfect them by boiling. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the bathroom and let's rinse out these clothes. Let me let y'all look at the chicken one more time. So we doing laundry up in here, so it's laundry day in the bathroom. Every room in the house is looking kind of discombobulated because we got different stuff going on. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse these clothes off. They've been soaking in, in the rinse water. Water still hot, y'all. Water still hot. They've been soaking. I could just wring them out. I could just wring them out and put them in this other thing. much water off as I can. I got another bucket over here, y'all. Yeah, that's from, all of these are uh, black, my black pants. All of these are my black clothes. My black leggings. My black turtleneck shirts. My black pants. I like 
in time I go to the thrift store. Time I go to the thrift store and I see my my black leggings and exercise pants. I get them because to me you can't have too many pairs for twenty five cents. I thought it was later. So after this, I'm going to take a bath. And then after the bath, I can hang the clothes up on my rack in the bathtub. And then if you wash and rinse your clothes in hot water, they're going to bleed more. They bleed less in cold water. But they bleed more in hot water. But I like to wash my clothes in hot the water as hot as it get. To me, they just get cleaner. And hot water. Miss Gloria, did you go get your car looked at?
time. You left it there. When it's gonna be ready? You ought to know how much to tune up for your car, cows. You ain't. Is that your first time doing a tune up? Is that your first time doing a tune-up, Miss Gloria? <laughs> My friend calling me. Let me call her back on the other phone. I'm going to draw my dad for her.
Y'all, I forgot. My friend. I forgot about the water, y'all. My friend. Y'all, I'm eating a piece of the chicken. My friend just came. And she brought me some of those. Those, um. Those, um. Uh, Insure drinks. She brought me some of those insure drinks. And I gave her a piece of chicken. I gave her and her nephew. A piece of chicken. Mm. I forgot the water was running. <laughs> and this water is too hot. I have to add some cold water in there. gave me a whole case of the boots. They used to have them in the little containers, but now they put them in the little plastic things. So, I used to drink these all the time. That's good, y'all. Okay, y'all. I am going to go take me a bath. And I'm going to see y'all later. I got some more things I need to do. I'm going to finish hanging up my clothes after I take a bath. Hang up my clothes. And I got some more stuff to do. And I'm going to see y'all later. Bye.